has often put Marseille in the headlines, giving it a certain notoriety. Yet, as a 2013 European capital of culture, the town has polished its image. The urban art festival called This Is Not Music is aimed at the young, people at home on skateboards and surrounded by graffiti. As the capital of culture, we can show now what we do all year, what we represent. This isn't just about skating or only art and music. This is really a culture, a lifestyle. For the first time, there's a major exhibition inspired by surfers and skateboarders and the lives they lead. This installation is reminiscent of the motion of the waves on a Hawaiian beach. The room of a collector from the southern French city of Bordeaux is on display. And they're showing Tom Sachs's bronze halfpipe, too. Lionel Scotiamaro, an artist who lives and works in Marseille, is also a passionate surfer. This takes an earlier work of mine from 10 years ago a bit further. It's all about a really unique car that I drove for years when I was going surfing. It transforms a personal mobile item of daily use to a static, minimalistic object, a sculpture that couldn't be any more removed from the original product. More than 200 works of art will be on display at a former tobacco factory turned cultural center called La Friche. All the items have been significantly influenced by urban culture. This brand of art is always on the move, so we asked ourselves how we could hold it still. The exhibition is like a snapshot, an attempt to understand how painters, photographers, artists and sculptors conceive urban culture, an art form that can neither be defined nor limited. In spite of the different forms of media, Lionel Scotiamaro says the works have a great deal in common. The story behind this exhibition is that this is a generation of artists without any hang-ups. They're sometimes critical and slightly ironic, and in all the works you can detect a certain urgency. I like the fact that contemporary art is being presented in a part of the city that's otherwise neglected. That makes it much more attractive. Residents of the working-class district Belle du Mai are part of the show. The French artist J.R. created these enormous murals of school children in 1967. The residents entrusted the artist with their personal photographs. He chose the ones he wanted to use and found fitting sites to set them in the scene. This artistic operation in the city is something special, and we're part of it. That gets you even more involved. And there's an unusual way to visit this open-air art gallery. Take a tour in a rickshaw and see a dozen different works for free. Concerts and performances are held in the evening. Most of them are multimedia cultural events. Here, the movements of the skateboarders are used to create abstract images on a screen. I think it's interesting that a skateboard is becoming a part of a work of art. It's not a matter of doing the greatest tricks. What we want to do is make the movements visual. Paris-based musician Christophe Chassol is using experimental multimedia in his performance. Images from a trip to India accompany his own jazz compositions. The Mediterranean city of Marseille is celebrating becoming a capital of culture in its own way by focusing on the culture of cities.